Hey guys, and welcome to another product review video here on Angry German TV. Today we are going to review the Bluetooth FM transmitter from Voyomo. Yes, I have already made a review video for this product three months ago, but since I used it for every day since then, uh, my opinion has changed and I would like to let you know why and why you should buy this product. So, let's get to the build-up itself. As you can see, it has two USB ports here, one microphone here, three buttons here, one to put on the last song, pick up phone, put the next song. This button here, it also, if you activate it while listening to music, for example, it will pause the music. But if you have no music on, then it will redial the last number you use. What does this all mean? that this product here has a built-in hands-free option. And in my last video, I already told you that that option is not the best. I am going to stick with my opinion from that video as I received some calls and the quality is really not that good. As I said, I tested it since Ju July, that's like three months already. And I had some calls and they're really bad. You can't hear a lot. And basically everything I have to do is switch manually to my normal phone um, microphone and then pick up the phone myself. The seller Voyomi on Amazon says that this product has a range of 2.5 meters for the microphone. But I am so silent when I talk on the phone and the other person is so silent and it's, it's really not that good. But... If you are not really interested in this hands-free options, then it doesn't matter. I don't need it. I have no problems uh, of picking up the phone myself, so I am not sad about it. So, as said before, it has two USB ports up here and one display in between. The display should show you the frequency you use, um, but for me it only says BT, like Bluetooth. I am not really using this display as I don't care what it's what what's there, but maybe it's interesting for someone else. As I read in the comments on Amazon, one person said that you can see the voltage or the electricity of your battery of the car. So maybe for someone with an older car, it might be important. For me, I have a new battery in my car, so I don't really care about that. But that depends on the person itself. Getting back to the USB port. This one should be used for phone charging. As I said, it has 2.4 amperes. This one has just one amper. So why would you have two different types? Because here in this one, in the one with the music symbol, you can stick an USB stick with the maximum amount of 32 gigabytes. There are some people who don't want to use the phone um, music um, or YouTube or Spotify or stuff like that. So you can put in your USB drive um, and listen to the music from that. I haven't done it yet, so and I will probably not do it, as I don't have uh, a USB stick with music on it. But if you want to use it, the seller says you can. So that means you can charge your phone here while playing USB music here. But I'm doing something completely different. I use a TomTom high-speed USB charger in my car, which I bought two and a half years ago and um, you will see it a little bit later in the video as well and I will leave an affiliate link to that product in the description and in the comments as well. So the TomTom charger has two USB slots on the side and one of it is a fast charger. So my phone charges much faster than with this product. But that's my opinion. For some people it would be enough to charge it here. I use the charger for, as I said, two and a half years and I love the combination as it leaves me, in the case I need it, with four USB slots. The thing I really like about this product is that it automatically connects to your phone when you get into the car and turn the keys. The product I used before this was just a normal uh, Bluetooth connector which you connected to your car via an aux cable. So every time you got into the car you had to turn that on as it has no power and connect your phone Okay, Bluetooth connected automatically, but you had to connect your phone 
so like you had to start the music and it was on battery so you had to charge it like every three four hours again 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 and that was so annoying and for someone like me who's driving every day with his car it was really frustrating all i want is to get into the car turn on the music and drive that is possible with this product i get into the car as it's always plugged into the electricity grid it automatically connects to your phone you even get a confirmation about that it says phone connected and the music starts playing if you have a music app in the background so that's something a lot of people ask um, if it will start automatically it does and that's really great for me I have always a YouTube app for YouTube background music on my phone once you turn off the key car it will stop the app you leave the car you go to work or whatever you come back you get in the car start the car and the music starts playing where you left before. So that's really great. The only thing is you have to keep the app in, your, into, in the background of your phone. So that drains some battery. So we are in the car now. As promised, here's the TomTom -tom charger. This is how it looks like with the fast charge slot up there. Here, there I plug in my phone. So while I drive, I can still listen to music via the FM transmitter and use navigation device like Waze, Google Maps or Apple Maps so um, and it still is fully full charged no problems at all and it does not overheat that's that's important as well so as you can see it has a hole here as well so I'm gonna show you exactly how and what my setup is so I plug it in here the light will turn green once it's plugged in, the power is on. Now I can use my cable, plug it into the fast charge slot. And here I will plug in the Voyomo FM transmitter. Once I plug it in, it will automatically connect. As I said before, the music will start playing. So I have already set to 87.5 FM on the radio. As you can hear, only statics, no radio there. So, I plug it in, listen guys. First, it shows you the voltage of the car battery. Bluetooth, waiting for pairing. Paired. Now it has, and there's the music, automatically. So it has automatically connected to the phone and started the job. I will turn the music louder now just to show you the quality so if you are on headphones please be careful <laughs> so now so as you can hear the quality is very clear without any interruption any statics and that is actually super great that's what I like. You get into the car, the music starts automatically. So you don't have to worry at all. So if you're wondering how to set it up, that is very simple. The first thing you do, you open the settings on your phone. I use an iPhone 7, so for me, and it's in German, you open settings. Then you scroll down to Bluetooth, activate it. And once it's on, you just simply connect to C26S. That is this device, the Voyomi Bluetooth FM transmitter. So as soon as I, you are connected, you can simply open any music device. I will open YouTube now. Here we can see we are on our channel. Open the last video where I already talked about it. And works like a charm. So it's a... Uh, Super easy to set up, no password required, nothing. Just turn it on, play the music, and it starts. All is cool. And once you close the app, as I do now, I minimized it, it keeps on playing. Now I will turn off the car, take out the car keys, you will hear it, and you will hear what happens to the music. It is off. So now what happens if I turn the keys again? I'm turning the keys, turning the electricity on. It will show the battery connection. Turn off the heater. 
Let's see, it's waiting for pairing. Should have connected automatically. There it goes. And the music starts playing. Most of the time this happens much faster. I don't know, maybe this time the connection wasn't so clear, but anyway, most of the time it happens immediately. So now you know why I would suggest to buy a Bluetooth FM transmitter from Voyamo. Also, if you are interested, you can buy the TomTom high-speed USB charger as well. As I showed you before, in this combination I have four USB slots with one supercharging my phone. That way I am using music with Bluetooth and Waze, for example. At the same time, my phone is still charging and the battery is full. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. As always, leave questions or improvements in the comments. If you want the product, as said before, links in the description. And see you in the next product testing video.